¿Dónde está México bonito? ¿Dónde estás tú? De norte a sur, va al revés De sur pa'l norte, ¿cómo lo ve? De norte a sur, va al revés De sur pa'l norte, ¿cómo lo ves? Soy americano Como el continente De muchos colores Que hace tan bella toda mi gente Soy americano Como el continente de muchos colores que hace tan bella a toda mi gente. Uepa, bravo, bravo. That was awesome. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Tell me a little bit about the song. I, I, I saw people here kind of getting a little emotional. Why, why is this song so meaningful? Yeah, this is a original song. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's called Americano Somos. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, it's, uh, it's what the most important uh, Hispanic song uh, for Washington, D.C. Yeah. in 2020. And also, it was uh, the most important Hispanic song for uh, years, for last year in uh, New York City, yeah. and this year in New York City too. Wow, it's a okay. powerful song. Yeah. Um, we, we almost got to go here, but I want to make sure folks know about the event this weekend. Yes, uh, we need. Uh, uh, we, ha uh, we, we, we have we'll about have 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, we'll have more with okay. them later on, but <laughs> tell me about the event, of please. Of course, Saturday, November the 5th, from 3 p.m. to midnight, National Mall, the heart of the city. Okay, the heart of the city. Very nice. Sounds like it's going to be a good time, especially if we're listening to music like that. Yeah. Thank you, uh, all of you, for coming in today. Uh, we're not done with them yet. Lion Lunch Hour, they'll have more for us coming up beginning at 11 o'clock. Thanks for coming in and for that beautiful presentation. And y'all look amazing, by the way. I'm loving the dresses. All right, Wisdom, I'll send it over to you. All right, very stylish. All right, yes. 1044 is the time right now. Malcolm Jamal Warner is an Emmy-nominated actor and Grammy-winning recording artist who has grown up in the entertainment industry for nearly 40 years. Next week, he's pulling double duty, starring as Dr. A.J. Austin on The Resident and directing that upcoming episode as well. He is also promoting his new jazz soul spoken word album, Hiding in Plain Sight, which is now available this morning. Malcolm Jamal Warner joins us to talk all about The Resident, his music and more. Good morning to you. Good morning, Brother Wisdom. How you doing? Yeah, I can't complain. Uh, that was quite an intro. You got a, you had a lot going on. You've been around for a while, so you've done some of everything. But this directing of the show, you've done uh, production, on, been on the producing side before. But what is it so sure, special sure. about now in this show that makes you say, okay, now is the time? Well, it's been interesting. You know, I, I've, um, I've pretty much directed all of the shows that I've been on in terms of as a series regular, uh, starting on Cosby. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, while I was directing Cosby, I was also directing Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Once Cosby was over, the directing was really the thing that kept me working in between acting gigs. Um, and, uh, you know, most of my, all of my television directing has been multi-camera sitcom. Uh, and I'd always been interested in doing uh, a one-hour drama. So this is, you know, season six. Uh, I've been pestering them for about three years uh, <laughs> to get a director. Um, so you know, I got my shot. I got a great script. Uh, I got a really great episode that I'm, I'm quite excited about. It's a strong, really strong episode. All right. So it, it, with your experience, is it, is it more pressure to do the directing or to actually be in front of that camera trying to nail those lines? Which one, which one is more challenging for you? Um, I'd probably say being... Uh, in, you know, you know, they, they both have their uh, they both have their moments. Like being in front of the camera, there's all of this medical jargon uh -huh. uh, that, you know, that that I don't always uh, <laughs> I don't always get right on the first take um, because there's so much, especially in the operating room, with the medical jargon and the, just the choreography. You know, uh, you know, in the surgeries and all of that. Um, but when you're acting, you're only uh, responsible for your role. Uh, but then when you're directing, you're responsible for the entire episode. Um, and you have to answer a, a million questions every day from everyone. Uh, but they both bring me joy because they're both storytelling. Um, and I love the responsibility when it's just, you know, uh, uh, my, my character and telling my art and interacting uh, and having that collaborative environment with other actors but when you're a director it's that collaborative environment uh on steroids because you're really collaborating with everyone 
Um, and when you have a great cast and a great crew, it really just makes uh, even the most challenging instances, um, you know, you still, you know, feel uh, supported. If that makes sense. Oh, it makes it makes a lot of sense. Also makes sense is uh, for you to be connected to, to music as well. So you got uh, a project, uh, uh, the latest project in your music world is coming out. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so this is my uh, my fourth album. It's called Hiding in Plain View. Um, you know, all of my uh, all of my music is, um, you know, tends to be socially conscious, you know, kind of love poems uh, kind of thing. This album is definitely by far uh, my most important album, um, I would dare say, is one of the most important albums to come out in 2022. Um, you know, besides you know my you know my music, my production, my bass playing, my spoken word. Um, mm -hmm. I have uh, I'm so honored to have Dr. Uh, Daniel Black, who is the assistant professor of African American Studies at Clark Atlanta University, mm -hmm. um, and he's made some really wonderful. Uh, contributions to the record, which which is really why I say it's one of the most important records to come out, because of the uh, there's just so much knowledge that he's dropping and conversations that we're having uh, that you know have a profound that that can have a profound impact on uh, how we raise uh, black boys, mm. um, and that will have a profound impact on how black boys interact with black girls, how black men interact with black women. Um, it's a, a record that really calls for uh, our self-healing as uh, as black people, um, but it also serves as a uh, an invitation for non-black people to see our self-healing um, as uh, a, a path to explore their own necessary. Uh, healing as well. Right. Okay. Uh, Brother Malcolm, you're always uh, deep. I can listen to you talk all day. I didn't even get to ask you about the, about the guitars or, or those guitars or basses behind you. I didn't get to ask you about those. I wanted to ask you about yeah, the basses. Basses. Okay. Yeah. I didn't get to ask you about Malcolm and Eddie. Oh, there's so much I could talk to you about. What else you got going on? Real quick. Yeah, 10 right, seconds. What else do you have going on? 10 seconds. Yeah. Just a second. Well, right now it's you know we're we're uh, finishing up the resident and then my album hiding in plain view. You can find it on all digital streaming platforms. Brother Malcolm, Malcolm Jamal Warner, thank you very much for your time this morning. Appreciate you. Hey, thank you, Mr. Appreciate you, brother. All right, take care. Continue success. And, and just a reminder, you can catch new episodes of the resident airing Tuesdays at 8 p.m. right here on Fox 5. Holly? Wisdom, you didn't ask him about his night cream. He looks exactly the same. I know, right? I know. So young, good looking. All right. It's only